You know, as I get farther and farther along into this wonderful experience that is a personal vlog show, it's become more and more evident that everyone is a critic. Which is perfectly fine. I wouldn't be producing these videos and posting them online if I wasn't interested in opening myself up for criticism. But? Nope. No buts. No buts. None. No buts whatsoever. I find that extremely unlikely, sir. Be that as it may, criticism remains one of YouTube's best and strongest traits. It's ingrained in YouTube's DNA through the ratings and comments system. And then, if you really like or dislike a video, you, you can subscribe or unsubscribe to the video creator. Now, are you sure there's no buts? I really feel as though there ought to be a but here. <laughs> no buts! If anything, ah! if anything, I would say that while YouTube and critics go hand in glove, what is, in fact, sorely lacking, as it always has been, is quality content. Look, all I'm saying is that if you're not going to throw a butt in here, I just have no idea what you're talking about. Hey, what? I don't care. Oh, well, that's nice. You know, maybe I don't care either. That would be perfectly fine with me. Okay, what the hell? Where is all of this indifference coming from? Where is it coming from? Yeah. The indifference. Where is it Coming from? Well, it's coming from all the criticism I've been getting lately over how Crumbine's brain basically lacks the ingenious creative spark that Talking Heads and Beanie Boy and Zay Fazam. You're indifferent because of criticism? Indeed. D okay, that, that, that's it. I quit. Oh, that's disappointing. But no. No? No, you can't quit. Damn it. Yeah. Sorry about that. As well you should be. And I've been telling you for ages how stupid this show is. Now that others concur, do you believe me? I never doubted that Crumbine's brain was stupid. Far from it. This show has always been simply a creative outlet and a way to engage my YouTube subscribers. There is nothing genius about me arguing with myself, as there was nothing genius about me arguing with other people and talking heads. In my opinion, the only truly brilliant show I've done has been Beanie Boy. And Cecil. Cecil was a fucking awesome show. Dude, Cecil was just as stupid as all of your other Neo Mono shows. My point, as my lesser half so routinely demonstrates, is that I am my own worst critic. Damn right! Hey! So, while I have always appreciated everyone's criticism, and will continue to do so, do keep in mind that there is a time and a place for inspired creative brilliance. Sadly, this isn't exactly that place. Enjoy this show for what it is, and keep an eye out for upcoming videos, because if there's one thing everyone should keep in mind, well, it's that Crumbine's brain isn't exactly the start-all and end-all of my YouTube channel.